Feeling good? Oh yeah. Hey you, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue. I'm Bill. And we are here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. Spring is upon us and we don't have permanent gardens. The plan for this big stretch of land over here, put raised beds in. But raised beds are kind of expensive. In the meantime, we're gonna make some beds out of straw bales. Oh my God, husband, thank you. So there we are, we've got four straw bale raised beds. Welcome to my office and I'm so glad you're here this morning. I've missed you. I've missed making films. I've missed a whole bunch of stuff. It's been... Don't look at my hair. This is my winter sewing. Look what one of our neighbors brought me. Happy birthday! It's tomorrow. Hi guys. So these straw bales came home um, and summarily got rained on. I can't lift them. To you. The dog has not puked in 48 hours. Don't, don't look at my hair. Just a tad chaotic here, but y'all have come to expect that. I don't know why it strikes me as brand new and novel every time. What you're about to see is uh, footage that was taken over a series of months. It has taken me literally months put together this video. I'm kind of giddy with the fact that I've actually got a video coming out. Um, so come on along and plant some potatoes and root veggies with me. Current state of affairs. It's not a doom bag. I like to think of this as a project box. There's a bunch of stuff that I want to accomplish this morning in the garden and I've got it all in here. I want to start some potatoes in these giant felt pots. I've got some time while my bread is on its final rest. So I'm gonna take this giant project bag and the seeds down to the garden. I'll meet you there. Most of this is multi-flora rose bushes and they're everywhere. So if I pull some of them, it's not gonna break my heart. This is probably going to be the site of next year's Ruth Stout patch. So because it is close to the compost, I'm gonna fill my bags and drag them over here. I have roughly 10 of these 15 gallon felt pots. I got them for steel and I figured, all right, let's test drive the potatoes in them. There's so many worms in there. This is really, really awesome. I'm seeing uh, Michael Reisel striations. This is some good dirt. All our potatoes are gonna be in compost and I'm gonna do straw on top, the way Ruth Stout intended. Here we've got all our filled bags. I think I've got nine of them. I picked up potatoes at the farm store and I think I grabbed everything that was less than 89 cents a pound that had a remark about storage on them. So we got Red Norland, Eva, Yukon Gold, Adirondack Blue. I'd like to put like two to three potatoes in each of these. I'm just gonna fill them up like I can. Ooh, these ones are already. Look like that's awesome. These ones have already started to sprout. Oh, these look good. These look really good. These are Red Norland and they, awesome. Yeah, they also look like they started sprouting in the bag. Look at this guy, so fancy. I filled eight bags. Turns out I had bought six of each, which is nigh on perfect. So what I'm gonna do is add this straw on top. I'm a huge proponent of mulching with straw. It's been awesome for keeping water in and making sure my stuff stays hydrated. So I'm all in. So I think this is going to be where next year's root stout patch is. Um, but the beauty of these grow bags is before I commit this, I can test drive if the sunlight and the conditions are good enough here. And if they're not, I can just move the bags. So I'm feeling like, dude, I made a really smart choice. I'm excited about this. I'm not putting a whole lot of straw on here. Really just enough to keep things moist. We've got rain coming tomorrow um, in the wee hours of the morning. So... I wanna get this stuff in and I wanna see about getting my carrots in because it's gonna be soggy for a few days. And the trick with carrots is always just getting it to stay moist. 
that's my plan. Holy crap, y'all, am I glad that it's done. I have been like, I bought these potatoes legit a month ago, maybe, maybe even five, six weeks ago, and they have been staring me in the face as things have gotten too busy or too snowy to get out here. And having them finally in, a huge weight has been lifted off of my back. Let's do the same for the root veg. How you doing, Bailey? How's it going? What do you think? I think it's great. I'm gonna do direct sowing. I'm really just using whatever potting soil I had left. I actually, actually only one of these is potting soil. These two are seed starting mix. It's just what I had in the garage, so that's what we're gonna to use today. I really thought I shot some footage and apparently I didn't shoot some footage. What did I plant? What did I plant? I planted a whole bunch of different kinds of carrots and beets. I planted some spinach. I planted mustard greens and I planted a ton of radishes and they've all got their first little cotyledons. They're gorgeous. So I put my carrots and my beets into that seed starting potting soil mix and with the straw on top of it it's going to keep it nice and moist and hopefully we'll have some germination when i put the burlap sack on top of my carrots i always kind of feel like i'm waterboarding them if you've been following along for a minute you know i've got like five bags six bags on the side there with their dates on it so that i know when to plant bag one is just about done potatoes are snuggled down and oh my god i'm labeled this is this is not a thing I do. Um, I'm so proud of me. And I've got bread coming out of the oven in just a moment. So I'm going to go take care of that. Thank you so much for hanging around. Um, I will catch you up hopefully soon. Take care. Look at this demon. Look at this tiny demon. What a pretty face you have, living our best life. We don't bite nearly as much as we used to. Yes, he does still bite sometimes.